Welcome back to another episode of What's It Like to Own. Wait, hold up. Restart, restart, restart. <laughs> restart that, restart that, restart that. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of What's It Like to Own. So we're here today with my boy Ace. What's up, man? Let's Give us on. a dab. Alright, check this out, boys and girls. Shoosh. Nah, I'm joking. We're not going to do that episode. This is actually my first time seeing the car in person as well. It's clean. Oh, yes. So, stock with car bucket seats. Oh, he's got a likewise manual shifter. This is so cool, man. I'm trying to get in. <laughs> Yo! So, I didn't even know they go up to 260. What is this Evo 8 or 6? Eight. Let's go, this turbo timer, HKS. Hey, did they change the head unit in this or? Stock. So, is this is the stock? Stock, yeah. Oh, that's sick. Bunch. It's so clean. Can I say that it's been resprayed? It's. <laughs> Nah, so I feel like this white is the same white as, as the 34, even though it's been resprayed, but uh... <laughs> Nah, still beautiful car. Congrats, congrats to the boy. Nah, let's go, let's go through the whole car. Oh, they actually come with stock rims as well, which is actually pretty surprising because once a lot of new cars, especially the old ones like these, they don't sell you the stock. He literally just imported this. This is so clean. Got this new wing as well. Carbon fiber gang. Nice Lancer, man. <laughs> <laughs> is this even an Evo? Ah, oh, damn! It is! So this is my first time in my boy Ace's Evo 8. Still under... Still on 14k... Uh, 14 PSI. She's louder. <laughs> Yo, bro, you just got chopped. By Corolla, man. Okay. Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time you watch this video right now. I haven't really been feeling really well this week. I don't know if you can tell from my voice as well, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Now, if you didn't know, I upload every Wednesday and Saturday at 12 p.m. on the dot. Here in Melbourne, this week we have another flood warning. Stay safe, avoid driving if you can, like me. Every time it rains, I don't feel like driving. So let's get straight into what we're doing today. I have these goodies that I bought from back home. Back home is Indonesia. Now let's start with the stickers. Built, not brought. Dreamer and the last samurai. I'll put that there. Now, when I caught an Uber there, one of the guys had this on and I was like, oh, that's pretty cool, where can I get that? It is literally a helicopter air freshener. Obviously goes into your air vents. Yeah, I'm really keen to open that out. And, I don't know if this is Sparko or Eparko. I don't know if it's real or not as well, the branding wise, but I don't know, I thought it was cool. I really wanted some shoulder pads for a while anyway, and I was like, yo, why not get these? And they only came in like red and blue. So I was like, okay, to match the white, I'm just gonna go with red. And lastly, <laughs> I don't know why I bought this one. It's literally just a little key, little bag thing. It says Nissan on it. Oh yeah. I made him make me a uh, Zoology necklace for that. <laughs> so I don't even know why I bought this one. Like, even if I put my key in it, I thought it was cool, alright? Leave me alone. So that's this chain. Yeah, boy. So it's actually been a while since I went back home. And I put this away because I really want to actually make a video about it before I open it. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. Alrighty. Let's open this one up first. Now these cost... So I'm gonna um, convert it back to AED. This cost about twenty dollars. So in rupiah it was about what I just reboot. So over there is obviously more on the expensive side. I mean twenty dollars for some pads, honestly. Look at that. It feels nice. So I'm gonna put that on my seat belts. So I put the driver's side on and I'm gonna show you how to just put this thing on honestly. 
As you can tell, we can just open it up. Simple as that. Just like this little Velcro sticky strap BS. Now what you want to do as well when you open it up, you make sure you grab your seatbelt. I put it on first. So obviously you want the logo facing forward. Just put it on like that. There you go. That's it. Sit inside. Just like that. That's it. <laughs> Now immediately, what I don't like about it is, when you take it off, you have to manually drag it down, right? <laughs> and plus, all that loose gap there, because where the actual belt stops is there, and you're stopping it by like, the length of the pads. So that's the first thing I don't like. <laughs> but like, in terms of comfort, for something that just sits there, it's pretty nice. Adds a bit of colour to the car as well, you know what I mean? It's not bad. Alright, I'm gonna open up the air fresher now. This has been sitting here for a long time. Oh, there you go. See, look at that. Actually, it spins. You have to open that up to put, what is it, cologne or the thing that makes it smell good inside? Yeah, that's pretty, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Uh, it's in the back here. That's what makes it smell good. And that's just a vent. So I've taken it off. Yeah, if it was a whole piece like that, other side, just grab a flathead and just take it out. Opens up just like that. And all you're gonna put is this bit right here, which is basically the the good stuff. Shove that in there. I don't know if it's at the top or the bottom, but I'm gonna okay, surely that doesn't look good. I'm gonna try the top and just close it up. Hopefully it goes in. This is my first time ever doing this as well, so it's just Oh my gosh. Yeah, just like that. And then all you do is you grab that, chuck it in there. Chuck straight on to your vent. See how this goes. I want to see this thing spin so bad. Look at that. So obviously you can put it on your other vents, but I chose the left side because my middle one is taken up for my phones. I forgot to mention, you're going to make sure the actual black attachment to this is the right way. Before when I was recording it, it was actually to the left side. It just has to hook into your vent like that forward. So it like bites it. Because right now, see it won't move. Obviously not gonna like rip it out, but it's it's good. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna turn on my fan. I wanna see this thing spin. Alrighty, the mode up there, all the way up. Now, if you haven't already, please click that sub button. Like, comment literally anything you want, because it really does help the algorithm for the video. Alright, please, it give you like good luck, I swear it does, it does, just do it, alright, thank you. Now back to the video. Oh, hey. <laughs> Look at that. That's sick. Oh, the bottom one doesn't spin. Look at that. <laughs> That is sick. <laughs> now, I don't know what I want to do with the stickers. Maybe like, chuck them here or something. Uh, I like a nice clean dash, you know? What do you guys think? Should I just like, give these away? Maybe I'll do that. <laughs> By the way, if you didn't know, Audubon, they are doing this wax on show off $5,000 major prize contest. All you have to do is, first of all, read this bottom part here. You have to be over 18 to take a photo from 12.01 a.m. the 24th of the 10, which was Monday. If you take a photo of your car, your bike, in front of any Autobahn shop, making sure your privacy settings on public, you're gonna follow Autobahn AU, and also follow, if they have one, the Autobahn store. And I upload it with the hashtag whacked on show off on Instagram or on Facebook. But yeah, I went, I went with the Instagram route. All you gotta do is literally take a photo of your car or your bike in front of any Autobahn shop, making sure you put that hashtag Hashtag in there, tag Autobahn AU and the Autobahn shop you're in, alright? From the 24th, and it ends at the 14th of November. And then we're gonna announce the winners at the 21st, about a week after the deadline. Now, obviously, your boy jumped on it. I found out about this actually from Rochelle, so shout out to you, Rochelle. So, yeah, basically, all you have to do, you go to your local Autobahn, whichever you pick, take a pic in front of it, make sure you, you know, Autobahn logo is there.
Twitter, etc. And just tag first one is Audubon AU, most important one. And then if they have the Instagram page of the Audubon you're at, the hashtag works on show off is a must. But yeah, so good luck. Me telling you don't really get me anything. I just want people to be a part of this so they can get a chance to win as well, just like me. And good luck with that, everybody. Completely unrelated, but I just want to share something with you guys, especially you guys if you follow the channel for a while. So a couple of videos ago, came across this 7-Eleven little pop-up. You know, if you haven't seen it already, go ahead and do that. Every time I share a video, I share it on my Facebook first. And I put a caption on it that says that 7-Eleven, you should let me MC your next event. And I did that on my Facebook. 7-Eleven Australia and they actually commented love this now it might not really mean a lot but I don't know to me just for them to respond is pretty cool like you know obviously if they could sponsor me that'd be amazing because your boy out here grinding you know what I mean but I just want to share that special thing with you guys thanks for making it to the end of this video I feel like I haven't done an outro in a while because all the previous videos is just end because I don't want to make it too long but yeah, stay safe out there, stay dry, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.